This second video provides more general information literacy tips. We've now moved to PsycInfo so that we can demonstrate that these information literacy skills are transferable across databases. We'll go into Advanced Search and type our search into PsycInfo. We should check some of the article records to see whether PsycInfo suggests any additional search terms. I'll just look inside the first article now. I can see there's a subject heading hospital discharge and also a mention of family. So we'll go back to the results. You'll see that PsycInfo sends us back to a single search box, but the brackets and the ands signify the separate rows. We can modify our search and type these new words into our search boxes in the appropriate places. When we're happy that our search terms are retrieving all of the relevant articles, we'll check whether our database allows us to place limits on the search in order to focus or narrow our results. Generally, it's more reliable to select our articles manually, but it might be OK to weed out anything in a language we can't read or to focus on a certain research type. We'd need to read a research textbook to find out which types of research are relevant for this assignment and we'll either find recommended texts on our online module resource list or in library search. If there are SHU links buttons in your database, we can click on them to find out whether SHU has access to each individual article. We might be taken directly to the article where we can usually read the web version or the PDF but if not, we can follow the instructions on the SHU link page. If we really need the article but SHU doesn't have access to it, we can request access through our document supply services. Going back to the results, we can tag articles that we're interested in and add them to our personal area. We'd need to register directly with the database because folders such as PsycInfo's My Research don't use the Sheffield Hallam login. Our interesting articles will then be saved for us to view later on at home. We can also save our searches, which will be useful if the assignment requires us to provide evidence of our search strategy and the number of hits, and this will also be saved in our personal area within the database. To ensure we've carried out a comprehensive search, we need to continue our searching across all the relevant databases, plus other resources, such as Nice Evidence or Social Care Online, and relevant books and websites. Thank you for watching our tips about how to run a comprehensive search at Level 6 in Health and Social Care subjects.